Welcome to Headline News 24/7. Please click like and subscribe. Maxine is sick of Trump ignoring her and blast big demand she wants from him now. Politicians on the left have become deranged over the last year and a half that the president has taken over the office, especially more recently. In particular, Congressional Black Caucus member and member of Congress Maxine Waters has been making some rather crude, derogatory, and downright dangerous comments that have incited violence. She has received criticism both overt and passive-aggressive from both the left and the right, even leadership within her own party. However, that has not stopped her from making demands and progressively getting worse. Which is why this latest story will not shock you whatsoever. Fox News reported. Rep. Maxine Waters, Democrat California, called on President Trump to please resign at the time 100 gala on Tuesday night, so that she won't have to keep up this fight of your having to be impeached. Waters was prompted by a questioner who asked her if she had some advice for Trump. I don't think you deserve to be there, Waters said, referring to the president. Just get out. The annual event in New York assembles celebrities and prominent figures to celebrate the world's 100 most influential people according to Time. In the 2018 Time 100, Waters was named as one such influencer. Actor Yara Shahidi praised Waters as so eloquent in letting the world, particularly the white men of Congress who dare test her acumen, know that she is not here for any nonsense. Tuesday night's comments were relatively tame for Waters, who has previously called Trump the most horrible man I've ever seen in my life. Last month, Trump said Waters suffers from a very low IQ and called on her to take an IQ test. Waters responded that either the Russia investigation, or the allegations of porn star Stormy Daniels, will ultimately bring Trump down. I'm not going to be intimidated by him, Waters said. While Time magazine reported the following during the Time 100 event, asked if she had any advice for Trump, Waters, who represents California's 43rd district, issued a request. Please resign, said Waters who was named one of the most influential people of the year in the 2018 Time 100. So that I won't have to keep up this fight of your having impeached because I don't think you deserve to be there. Just get out. Waters is one of the most vocal politicians calling for Trump to be removed from office, and has suggested impeaching the president multiple times since his inauguration. In the 2018 Time 100, actor Yara Shahidi commended Waters for saying what many of us are thinking from her declaration of reclaiming my time to her dedication to taking Trump out of the office of the presidency. She is adored and admired by people who care about social justice and is oh so eloquent in letting the world, particularly the white men of Congress who dare test her acumen, know that she is not here for any nonsense," Shahidi said. However, it is not just President Trump that she has spoken out against. She has been a vocal critic over the last 30 years of former President George H. W. Bush, George W. Bush, as well as President Trump. She referred to President George H. W. Bush as a racist who polarized Americans and perverted American culture. Prior to his death, she had a strong relationship with Fidel Castro and argued that he has worked to bring his country of Cuba to a democratic place which the United States, she allegedly purported, has not done. Waters has even gone as far in the past as to oppose President Obama, the first African-American president whom she argued did nothing to uplift black Americans and whose administration oversaw a drastic decrease in African-American unemployment. Over the years she has been closely aligned with Nation of Islam leader Louis Farrakhan. Waters' actions speak for themselves. She has done a large amount of nothing in her over 20 years of service to the House of Representatives while taking attention away from real issues by sucking up news time with her hysterical antics. Instead of focusing on issues that affect real Americans coming to solutions for them, she has incited violence perpetuated hateful rhetoric, and made this country and her district a less safe place. Nobody in the United States should fear for their life because of their political beliefs yet she has encouraged people to harass Trump administration staffers. There is nothing American or civilized about it. Protesting is patriotic, harassing is not. This is what the radical left has devolved into. That was the news. We thought you might be interested in knowing about this. Please click, like and subscribe. Thank you.